Next, we meet the duck. The duck lives in grandfather's yard, and she was so happy that Peter had left the gate open, so she went out to explore the meadow and came across a wonderful pond. She jumped right in and was splashing around. The bird flies by and decides to argue with her a little bit. What kind of a bird are you if you can't fly, says the bird. And the duck responds, well, what kind of a bird are you if you can't swim? Prokofiev decides to use the oboe as the music for the duck. And, it, and it's very apropos. It can quack like a duck, but it also can spin a beautiful, long, soulful melody in the low register. It's a wonderful depiction of this animal. Let's meet the oboe and our oboist, Brad Walsh. Hello, my name is Brad, and I am a member of the oboe section in the Springfield Symphony Orchestra. And today I'd like to talk to you about the oboe. There are six words I'd like to discuss about the oboe, and the first word is wood. The oboe is a member of the woodwind family, and it's because it's constructed out of wood. This is a type of wood called grenadilla wood, and it's very shiny. The second word I would like you to know about is the word keys. The oboe has keys on the front that are made of metal. Some of them have holes in it, and you have to cover the hole with your fingers. This helps change from one pitch to another. The third word I'd like you to know about is reed. The oboe plays what's called a double reed, and it looks like this. It has two blades that vibrate against each other to make a sound, and this is what it sounds like. The other thing I would like you to know about is the word small. This is one of the smaller members of the orchestra instruments. Not as quite as small as a piccolo, but nowhere near as big as a bassoon. The fifth word I'd like to tell you about is the word high. The oboe is one of the higher sounding instruments in the orchestra. Matter of fact, in France, they call it a hautbois, which means high wind. And the last word I'd like to tell you about is the word colorful. The word colorful, I mean, it has a color, this oboe's black, but it also can produce many colors of sound. It can be dark, it can be bright, it can be mysterious. So I'm gonna play for you a little bit of Peter and the Wolf, um, and it, the oboe gets the part of the duck this graceful swimming duck that's swimming around in a pond in a meadow. And it uses some really low notes in the oboe, which kind of make it sound like a duck, but it's uh, kind of a lyrical song-like phrase. So I'm gonna play a little bit of it for you. And that's the oboe. While Peter and the bird were out playing in the meadow, another of Peter's friends had also awakened with a bad case of spring fever. It was another bird, but this time a bird of a very different feather, a deliriously dizzy duck. <laughs> You see, the duck knew he wasn't supposed to go beyond the gate. But it had been a long winter for him, too. And a long time since he'd had a real swim.
After all, he figured, the cool blue pond was only a waddle away. So he took the plunge. The bird noticed the duck. How'd he get out here? She wondered. So she decided to ask the duck herself. But the duck was only interested in his long-awaited swim. The bird did not like being ignored. Hey! How can you call yourself a bird down there in the water like that, huh? Why no self-respecting bird can swim? But the duck couldn't be bothered. And on and on it went. <laughs> 